Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another home interior styling video. As you can see, I'm sat on the floor in the hallway and I'm going to be styling up our hallway console table in this video. Console tables are just my favourite thing to style up. There's so many ways you can style them, like on top and also with like the little shelving bit underneath. So I've thought of a few different ways that you can style up your console table and hopefully get a few ideas for your own console tables. Just before we get into the video, I would love if you could subscribe down below and stay with me for more videos. I do lots of home interior styling videos, very modern country style, so if that is your vibe, then I would love if you could stay around. P.S. I just wanted to say now before I carry on talking throughout the video, I'm really sorry for my voice. It's really like hoarse and croaky at the minute. I must have been like talking too much this week or I don't know, talking to the kids too much in work. So yeah, apologies that it sounds a bit on the croaky side. I have got my bottle to try and soothe it a little bit, but yeah, apologies for that. So let's get into the video. So this is the first way that I've styled the console table and I've gone for a very like classic look for the first look whereby I've just put a big vase in the centre and then added a few little extra details on the side. This huge stone vase is one of my faves, it's from Willow of Abigail but I don't think she stocks it anymore but a lot of other small businesses do stock this vase, it's called the Darcy vase on a lot of small businesses. On With Love Abigail it was called the Clementine Vase if you're wanting to have a look to see if she'll ever bring it back in stock. But it's absolutely gorgeous and I love the distressed look to it as well. For my flowers I've gone for a lovely spring light bouquet because I think when this video goes live tomorrow it is spring on the 21st of March which is really exciting. So I've got these gorgeous white and blush hydrangeas from Home Sense. Then I've got my blush anemones from With Love Abigail that I showed you last week. I've also got some pink ranunculus from Home Sense as well, which goes really nicely with the hydrangeas. And then this foliage is from Habitual Home and it just like bulks the whole bouquet out really nicely. I feel like this really cute candle from Aldi complements the bouquet really nicely with the similar colours. And obviously because you've got quite a big vase in the centre, you can't really have anything else big on the console table unless you've got like a really long one. So I've gone for two smaller decorative pieces like a candle and then the smaller Neptune bird. And then for my shelf at the bottom, it's not huge so I just really have room for one basket or like a smaller basket and something else. This basket is from Habitual Home, it's a really good size and a really lovely colour as well. I feel like it goes really nicely with all the neutrals and then I've just draped a little pink blanket from Next, Next Kids actually, it's got a bunny on it, it's really cute. I've just draped that out of the side just to match with the pinks in the bouquet and I think it looks really sweet there.
my second way to style up a console table. I've gone for a half and half kind of look. So I've got a smaller vase, but still quite a statement vase. On the right, you'll have all seen this vase before in videos and over on my Instagram. It's from Neptune, as are the flowers, and the fern there on top is from Habitual Home. And I think it all goes together really nicely. And then on the other side of the console table, I've got three books, like coffee table books, that I think work together quite well two Neptune catalogues and then one white company book there on the bottom and I've popped my gorgeous Arabella pot from With Love Abigail on there as well just love the vintage blues it goes really nicely with that catalogue as well and then on the bottom I've put my shopper basket from the basket company which I think looks really cute and makes the whole thing look really countryfied and then inside I've draped my new throw from Tillywood Interiors like I've mentioned before it's kind of like a bluey like vintage blue colour so I thought it worked really well with the Arabella plant pot and also the little blue print on the Neptune catalogue as well. I think it all goes with the neutrals really nicely and you've also got your contrast of height as well with the big vase compared to the small plant pot and yeah I just really like how this style looks. So this look is mostly about having a wreath of some kind propped up against the wall, having a few smaller pieces in front of it and then having more of a statement on the other side. So I've gone for my gorgeous new faux gypsophila wreath from Hoops and Home. It just got delivered this week and I am absolutely in love with it. It just looks so stunning. And I had a few messages on Instagram asking me if it was real or not because it just looks so real, doesn't it? But it is faux and I have it forever and it's just absolutely gorgeous. This is the smaller wreath size that Sam does as I wanted it mostly for my peg shelf in the kitchen but she does do bigger sizes as well if you wanted one for like a front door or just wanted a bigger wreath in general and then in front I've got my coaster with the foliage wreath on from Encore Home and I've just popped a little Neptune candle on top and then I've got my little bunny which I've not actually showed you yet it's from Tillywood Interiors and it's a little sneak peek of what's coming in next week's video it's all going to be all to do with Easter but I just think this bunny is such a cute decor piece for neutral homes as I was saying over on my Instagram sometimes the Easter decor can just be a bit bright and a bit like randomly random colours but this just goes with the whole aesthetic so well as you can see and it's just a really really cute addition for Easter I love the little mottled effect the grey colour reminds me of like Farrow and Ball shades so yeah, really, really cute little bunny there. And you'll be seeing him again in next week's Easter video. And then on the other side, I've got my faux poppies from eBay. These are like one of my favorite faux flowers that I've ever bought. I just think they are so pretty and just like really lovely and neutral. And I've got them inside my Elena vase from Harrison Cropper Interiors, which I love. I think I've showed this on my channel before. It's got like a little crackled mottled effect and then just add a little bit of height just because I wanted the right side to look a bit higher than like what's going on at this side I've just put the white company book there again just to make it a little bit taller oh I just I absolutely love how it looks it just looks so lovely for spring I actually might keep it like this at the end of this video because I don't know sometimes you just need to have like a faff around and a play around and you can like completely transform your tables you don't even need to buy anything new these are just things that I've had like in other rooms of the house and then on the shelf at the bottom because there was quite a lot going on on top I've just put just the one 
basket from Neptune. I didn't put a pillow or a blanket in or anything, I just wanted it quite simple on the bottom as there was quite a lot of deco pieces on top. And altogether, I think it looks really lovely, very spring-like, very modern country and I just love white and green and neutrals for this time of year. I think it all looks really, really sweet. So moving on to the fourth way to style a console table, I've gone for like a picture in a frame instead of a wreath being propped against the back wall this time and I think it looks really effective. I've gone for some smaller pieces in front of it again just like I did with the wreath just so you can still see the frame and the picture behind. And then on the other side I've gone for my gorgeous Neptune vase and inside I've just popped a few white and green faux hydrangeas. I don't actually know where these are from. My boyfriend's mum gave me the green ones and maybe the white ones, maybe they were from TK Maxx actually. Really inexpensive but I just think hydrangeas are really pretty for springtime. So as you can see, I've gone for that white and green theme again. I just can't help myself around springtime. I just love those colours. I've also added some pops of black, as you can see, with the frame. The frame is from Poster Store, and inside I've popped some Neptune Christmas wrapping paper inside. I got the idea from one of my friends on Instagram, Sam. And I've also got the black candle plate from The White Company with a Neptune candle on top. My little poppy head vase is from Habitual Home, and I've got some... Dawn Elm Gypsy Feeler in there. And just moving on to the bottom shelf, I've styled it up with a few decor pieces this time rather than a basket. I do really love a basket on the bottom of a console table, but I thought I would just change it up for the purpose of this video. So I've gone for the large Neptune Bosley jug here with no flowers in it, as I feel like there's enough flowers going on on the top. And in front, I've just placed my little paisley plant pot from With Love Abigail, again with nothing in it. I just think they look quite nice bare. And then over here, I've added the White Company book again for a little bit of height. And then I've got my gorgeous Hurricane vase from Tilly and Ted Homeware. It's absolutely beautiful. And I showed this in my Neptune dupes video and it's such a good bargain. And then it just fits the tall Neptune pillar candle in really nicely. So yeah, another really lovely spring styling look for this console table. Lots of lovely spring decor pieces, as you can see. And I just really love how everything fits together really nicely. And I especially love the little pops of black with this look as well.
So for my final way to style a console table, I've decided to go for a rattan tray, like a whitewash rattan tray for one side of the console table and then stick to a big faux flower display for the other side. So I'll just talk about this tray first. So this tray I showed last week in my Neptune dupes video, it was like an orangey brownie colour from Amazon and I got some chalk paint and I whitewashed it last spring after seeing um, an amazing reel from Home With Cat. So I thought that this little tray fitted perfectly here on the right hand side of the console table and inside I've just got a Neptune, Carinium bars and this White Company dupes candle from Aldi and then I've just got my pink ranunculus in there as well, just one sprig. But I like how it's got multiple heads, I just think it looks really pretty coming out of the Neptune bars. And then in keeping with the pinky spring-like theme, I have a range of different flowers in this gorgeous Neptune vase. So I've already talked about those hydrangeas from Home Sense. These little pink wildflower stems are from Home Sense as well. And the Queen and Lace stems are from Home Sense as well. These little ditzy white flowers are from With Love Abigail. What else have I got in here? Um, these were from Etsy, these big poppies, I absolutely love those. I definitely think it looks really gorgeous and spring-like. I love all the pastels in the bouquet and the rattan tray just works really nicely with them all as well. And then for my little shelf at the bottom, I've gone for another shopper basket. This one is from With Love Abigail, I've shown it before in my wicker baskets video. I absolutely love the size and colour of it, it just looks perfect there, like a perfect fit for my shelf. And then because there was lots of flowers going on, on top I've just popped some little catalogues and books in there just to make it look a little bit more decorative and I really love how it looks for spring I think it looks really cute and girly I love the pastels and the pinks and the white so yeah I actually am going to tidy up now this is going to be my final look because you should see my house like this is just like a little bit of YouTube reality for you all <laughs> so that's the end of the video everyone. I hope you enjoyed seeing my five ways to style a console table. Obviously there are hundreds of ways to style a console table, they're not like the only five ways, but they are just five different ways that I thought looked really lovely and perfect for springtime as well. Please leave a like on the video if you liked it and leave me a comment down below. I always love chatting with everyone in the comments and it lets me know that you like the videos that I'm creating and do make sure you are subscribed for next week's video which is going to be a huge I mean a huge Easter haul and styling video. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see you next week. Bye!